Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about the vastness of the universe that we are part of? This is not just a question, it's an invitation to embark on an extraordinary journey through time and space. The universe, in all its grandeur, is a cosmic ballet of planets, stars, galaxies, and a myriad of other celestial phenomena. It is a symphony of space, matter, and energy, playing out on a stage so vast, it's nearly impossible for our minds to grasp. As we stand on our home, the Earth, gazing up at the night sky, it's easy to feel small. And indeed we are. Our planet, teeming with life and color, is but a speck in the cosmic ocean. Just to put things in perspective, one million Earths could fit inside the Sun, our closest star. Speaking of the Sun, it's a rather average star, one among over 100 billion in our galaxy alone. Yet it holds a special place in our hearts and in our solar system. It stands as the solitary star in our cosmic neighborhood, casting its life-giving light and warmth on the family of planets that orbit it. Our neighborhood, the solar system, is nestled in the Milky Way galaxy. A spiral galaxy, our Milky Way is just one of an estimated two trillion galaxies that make up the universe. Its glittering arms, swirling around a central hub, house countless stars, nebulae, and other celestial bodies. And our solar system, it's located about two-thirds of the way out from the galaxy's center. In this vast cosmic tapestry, it's believed that most of the stars in our Milky Way, much like our Sun, have their own planets orbiting around them. Imagine countless worlds, each with its own story, its own history, and perhaps its own life. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, our solar system, located two-thirds of the way out from the galaxy's center, is but a small part of this grand cosmic tapestry. And this journey, my friends, has only just begun. Let's explore further, shall we? From ancient times, humans have looked up and seen patterns in the stars. Let's embark on a celestial journey, tracing the fascinating history of constellations. These are not just random clusters of stars, but a tapestry of 88 distinct regions that blanket the entire celestial sphere, like an intricate star-studded quilt. Our journey begins with the ancient Sumerians. They were among the first to etch patterns in the sky, attributing mythical tales and symbolism to the celestial formations. Fast forward a few centuries, and we land in the era of the Greeks. The renowned scholar Ptolemy catalogued many of the northern constellations that are still recognized internationally today. These constellations were not just celestial patterns to the ancients, but a guiding compass, a calendar, and a reservoir of their cultural myths and legends. Let's take a moment to spotlight one of the most prominent constellations, Orion. Named after a hunter in Greek mythology, Orion stands proudly on the celestial equator, visible from every corner of the world. Its belt of three bright stars in a line is one of the most recognizable patterns in the night sky. But the real magic lies in Orion's sword, where the Orion Nebula resides. This bright spot is not just another star, but our closest massive star-making factory, a stellar nursery where stars are born. These constellations from Orion to the Big Dipper, from Andromeda to Cassiopeia, are more than just stars. They are the threads of ancient stories immortalized in the sky. They have guided explorers across vast oceans, helped farmers predict the changing seasons, and inspired countless works of art and literature. As you gaze up at the night sky, remember that every star, every constellation, has a story to tell. A story that spans centuries, cultures, and civilizations. A story that connects us to our past and propels us towards our future. These constellations have guided explorers and intrigued astronomers for centuries, Beyond our own Milky Way, there are countless other galaxies scattered across the universe. These galaxies, each a dazzling display of cosmic artistry, are not isolated entities. Instead, they group together, forming massive structures known as clusters. These clusters, each containing hundreds to thousands of galaxies, are the building blocks of the universe. But it doesn't stop there. Clusters of galaxies themselves band together, forming even grander structures called superclusters. Imagine this for a moment colossal superstructures made up of galaxy clusters, which are themselves composed of individual galaxies, each teeming with countless stars, planets, and potentially life. How many of these galaxies are there in the universe, you may wonder? The answer is mind-boggling. Scientists estimate there are over 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe alone, each with their unique structure, composition, and history. 
To give us a glimpse into this cosmic grandeur, the Hubble Space Telescope captured a deep field view of the universe. This image, known as the Hubble Deep Field, is a snapshot of a tiny patch of the night sky. Yet within this minuscule frame, all but four specks are entire galaxies. That's right, each speck in that image, each dot of light, is not a star but a galaxy, potentially home to 100 billion stars. This glimpse into the cosmos is a testament to the unimaginable scale of the universe. It reminds us that our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is but one among countless others, each with its own story to tell. The universe, it seems, is a vast sea of galaxies, each teeming with stars. And who knows what wonders lie within each of those galaxies, waiting to be discovered by curious minds like ours. One of the nearest galaxies to us is the Andromeda Galaxy. Now, when we say near, we're talking in astronomical terms. The Andromeda Galaxy is a staggering 2.3 million light years away from us. That's a journey you'd have to start around the time our ancestors were first learning how to use tools to even be arriving about now. Andromeda is the most distant celestial object that you can see with your naked eye on a clear night. It's a spiral galaxy, much like our own Milky Way, but it's a bit larger, with a trillion stars compared to our paltry few hundred billion. These two galaxies are on a collision course, but don't worry, this won't happen for another four billion years or so. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? We're just a tiny part of one small galaxy in an ever-expanding universe. Despite its distance, Andromeda remains one of our closest galactic neighbors. Our home in the cosmos is the solar system. It's a bustling neighborhood of celestial real estate located about two thirds of the way out from the center of our Milky Way galaxy. At the heart of our solar system is the sun, a medium sized star that contains 80% of the entire system's mass. This fiery ball of gas is so large that over a million Earths could fit inside it. Orbiting our sun, we find eight diverse planets. The four innermost are the terrestrial or rocky worlds, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Each of these planets has its own unique characteristics, from Mercury's scorched surface to Mars' dusty red landscape. Earth, our home planet, stands out as the only known world to harbor life. Beyond the inner planets, you'll find an asteroid belt, a sort of cosmic junkyard filled with millions of rocky remnants from the dawn of our solar system. Here, asteroids, both large and small, orbit the Sun in a band between Mars and Jupiter. Farther out, the landscape of our solar system changes dramatically. Here lie the four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. These outer worlds are enormous spheres composed largely of hydrogen and helium, each surrounded by a system of rings and moons. Jupiter, the largest, boasts over 70 moons, including Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Beyond Neptune, we enter a region known as the Kuiper Belt, home to many small, icy bodies, as well as two recognized dwarf planets, Pluto and Eris. Even further out, stretching almost halfway to the nearest star, is the Oort Cloud, a theoretical cloud of icy bodies that is believed to be the source of long-period comets. So, from the radiant sun to the distant reaches of the Oort cloud, our solar system is a diverse and dynamic place. It's a testament to the beauty and variety that can be found in the cosmos. This system, our home, is a complex and diverse place full of a variety of celestial bodies. At the center of our solar system is the sun, a sphere of hot, glowing gases. Now, let's take a closer look at the sun and the intriguing phenomenon known as the solar wind. This is not your typical gust of wind, but a relentless stream of charged particles, a plasma that is continuously ejected from the sun's surface. This solar wind fills the space between the sun and the planets, creating an invisible yet significant presence in the vast expanse of our solar system. Imagine it like this. The sun is constantly shedding its outer layers into space at an astonishing rate of 200 tons per second. It's like a celestial waterfall cascading a million miles per hour. This solar wind carrying the sun's magnetic field with it shapes the scenic yet unseen landscapes of our solar system. But the sun's surface is not always calm and serene. At times it rumbles and erupts in grand explosions known as solar flares and coronal mass ejections. These eruptions release enormous amounts of energy, propelling charged particles and electromagnetic radiation into space at high speeds. When these particles reach Earth, they can cause magnetic storms which are responsible for the captivating display of the northern and southern lights. 
These solar events also remind us of the sun's dynamic nature. Its surface is a boiling sea of plasma, with temperatures reaching millions of degrees. It's an ever-changing landscape, driven by the sun's immense internal energy. So next time you bask in the sun's warmth or marvel at the beauty of a sunset, remember the invisible forces at work. The solar wind and solar storms, silently shaping our solar system and impacting our Earth in ways unseen to the naked eye. Our sun, a tranquil sphere of light to the unaided eye, is a dynamic and powerful force in our solar system. Our planet, Earth, is a unique place in our solar system. It's a celestial body that formed around four and a half billion years ago from the swirling dust and gas left over from the birth of our sun. This cosmic nursery was filled with chaos and violence, but from that tumultuous beginning, a world of serene beauty and incredible complexity emerged. Earth sits comfortably in the solar system's habitable zone, a region where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. This precious resource, covering about 70% of our planet, gives Earth its distinctive blue appearance when viewed from space, earning it the moniker, the Blue Planet. But the miracle of Earth runs deeper than its surface. Our planet is the only one in our solar system, and as far as we know, the only one in the vast expanse of the universe where life has evolved. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest mammals, life has found a way to thrive in every corner of our world. Shrouding our planet is a thin layer of atmosphere, stretching some 20 kilometers high. It might not seem like much compared to the size of the Earth, but this atmospheric blanket is vital. It provides the air we breathe, shields us from the sun's harmful radiation, and helps regulate our planet's temperature, creating a cocoon of conditions suitable for life. Yet, as special as Earth is, it's essential to remember that it's just one planet, orbiting one star, in one galaxy, among billions. Our blue marble is but a tiny speck in the cosmic sea, spinning silently in the vastness of space. Despite its size, Earth is our home. It's where every human being has ever lived, loved and looked up at the stars in wonder. It's where we've made incredible discoveries about the universe and our place within it. Earth, our blue planet, is a precious oasis of life in the vastness of space. One of Earth's most beautiful natural phenomena is the Northern Lights. Also known as Aurora Borealis, these lights paint the polar night sky with a ballet of colors, from vibrant green to deep purple. This ethereal spectacle is more than just nature's light show. It's a visible testament to the intricate dance between the sun and our planet. The northern lights are born from our active sun. The sun continually emits a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. Occasionally the sun will release a burst of these particles in a solar flare. When these particles reach Earth, they collide with the gases in our atmosphere. This collision excites the atoms, and when they return to their normal state, they release energy in the form of light. The different colors we see are due to the type of gas being excited. Oxygen gives off green and red light, while nitrogen produces blue or purple light. But the beauty of the northern lights isn't confined to the Earth's surface. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station have a unique vantage point offering them an unparalleled view of this phenomenon. From their position, they can observe the lights from the side, seeing the shifting curtains of color extending upwards from the Earth's atmosphere, creating a display that is both otherworldly and mesmerizing. These lights are more than just a beautiful spectacle. They are a visual representation of the complex interaction between the sun and Earth. They show us how even in the vastness of space, everything is interconnected. The sun, over 93 million miles away, can touch our world in such a visually stunning way. The northern lights are a reminder that our planet is part of a dynamic, ever-changing universe. They show us that even the darkness of space is full of light, color, and beauty. They are a testament to the intricate and delicate balance that exists within our universe, a balance that makes life on Earth possible. The northern lights, a stunning spectacle of nature, remind us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe. 